Hey guys, what's going on? James and Rhett here of the Cannon Fire Podcast. Welcome back to yet another episode of Buried Bucks Treasure, where we go around Florida and uh, look for Buccaneers memorabilia, antiques, uh, oddities, if you will, and many other different types of things. Today, we were actually here at the Oldsmar Flea Market. This was Rhett's suggestion, so shout out to him for that. We're going to be looking around and... Uh, it's going to be a pretty cool experience. We should probably be able to get a couple of episodes worth of footage here just from this one place alone. So, Rhett, are you pumped up for this? Oh, yeah, dude. I used to come here all the time. And uh, I haven't been here probably a little over six months, so I haven't seen the latest. But it's a lot of walking, and uh, I think we'll find a lot of great stuff. Right on. All right, guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. Sideline, Chris Harry and Joey Johnson, forward by Rich McKay. I didn't even, I didn't even know this was a book. <laughs> I, I thought I had seen it once before, but based off of the cover, I kind of dismissed it. Yeah. But probably would be good to dive into it. how much he wants. So I know you said you're not hungry, but one of the places we have to hit is the mini donut spot. Understandable. So I respect the grind. Yeah, give me a minute. All right, well, 
while Rhett is getting his mini donuts. Let me show you guys something, okay? So I did end up getting the book. It was $7, I negotiated down to five. But a collection of the greatest Buck stories ever told, Tales from Buck Sideline. You look down here, you see Chris Harry and Joey Johnson forward by Rich McKay. We actually opened up the book, you got Best Wishes by Joey Johnson, the author, of, or at least the half of the author of the book. So that's pretty cool. That's what's this nice little, nice little thing in there. You got Joey Johnson, author. You got, boom, best wishes, Joey Johnson. It's like he's wishing me best wishes. And you know what? I appreciate that. Nothing super out of the ordinary, but I'm just gonna get it because I kind of want it. Little keychain. Trying to see what year. Doesn't have a year on it, but I just want it. That's cool, man. A dollar. As far as collectibles go, we got a good selection of old and new. I didn't even know they sold these yet. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. I mean, that's yeah, they do look good. <laughs> I think it's the generic design. It might be the one they come with. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe. I'm a little sus. We got some old school bobblehead going and on down here, day. too. Grande in the case? That Here's one. Dante Culpepper with the dolphins? Here's something that was pretty cool, too. Cardinals Emmett Smith. Oh. I don't know how much Cardinals Emmett Smith is floating around out there. God. But uh, obviously not a bright spot on his career. But, like, that's pretty cool. You know that what I mean? pretty cool. 
The sad thing is that Emmett should have never played in another uniform. I just can't picture Emmett Smith full blood red. He's a cowboy. He should have never left for there. Emmett Smith wearing the bird on the side of the head. You just kind of knew it wasn't going to work. Hands for Emmett running left. Bumble the ball. Just a certain window of time you're going to find that uh, stuff. Is that a belt buckle? I think so. Yeah. So basically whenever we roll up to training camp or any other Bucks event is what we'll be yeah. wearing. That's how you stand out, buddy. That's how you make a statement. The, the, the freaking Dolphins one. <laughs> yeah, they could have they could have hooked us up with a little more bling like Miami here, but hey, speaking of bling, dog. Yeah, dude. All of Brady's rings. They have a Bucks one. I don't see it. I don't think they have a Bucks one. They have some Bucks earrings though. Ladies, no. ladies get the Bucks earrings. A lot of good collectible stuff. Plenty of license plates. Yeah, license plates. Got the chair down there. Yeah, this is pretty cool, man. Inflatable chair. something cool man I, I had posted on my twitter about this one before it is a signed canvas it's a drawing and like that's what's cool about it, it's, it you know it's it's hand drawn autographs all over it from i think the 82 is that, randy Grimes? that is randy grimes guest of the can of fire podcast go check out yeah. that episode Vinny test of verity also on there yeah there's many bruce yeah. hill yeah, I, I want to say it's like the 83. Oh, no, there, there's Randy. Oh, yeah, Randy. What? Wait. Randy I, signed it twice. So nice, you got to sign it twice. Wow, I guess Randy signed it twice. Oh, hold on. Maybe Steve DeBerg. Steve DeBerg and Vinny Testaverde on this one. So this was the 82 year, right? 82 or 83, because I know Randy Grimes, his rookie year, I believe, was 83. We've also got, check this out, baby. Hall of Famer signed Leroy Selman with the card, the tickets. Let's freaking go. What a find, man. I'm I will gonna, say, I'm gonna I say think we were, we were outside Steve's stuff. And I will say, Steve, you are being a little stiff on these prices. You know, one of a kind for sure. But $1,400 and $1,800. Oh, I, I, don't, oh. I don't know, brother. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, my God. Oh, and it's a game to the Leroy, Felman, uh, Leroy Selman Hall of Fame game. Wow. Bucks versus Bears. Sunday, September 17th, 1995. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this is... Probably from like I want to say 83. Yeah, I think that's probably a good guess. Yeah, Steve, you got some cool stuff, man. But I just I don't know if I'm willing to go 1400 or 1800 on this series just yet. Maybe once that uh, that Wendy's Fun Super Chat starts kicking in a little more. Right. <laughs> To a great start, you got a Mike Williams, Joey Galloway, this Keenan McCardell, Vincent Jackson, yeah, Keenan McCardell, rest in peace, Pete Jackson. What is this? Oh, that is, that is <laughs> That's nice, dude. 